So at the moment, most of you have, and at this point, if you haven't finished your eight circles, now is the time to finish your eight circles. But most of you have a whole bunch of circles on your page. Importantly, I want us to have a look at a couple that are next to each other. Now, in our circle here, uh, I'd like you to also plot the middle of your circle. Can you do that for me? Thank you. Now, we already said, right at the top, if we had a full revolution, a full revolution, like so, we are used to calling that, how many degrees again? 360. 360. Good, we're familiar with this, right? So, if we had a full revolution in a new kind of way of measuring angles, how could we measure it, thank you Mrs. Lees, in a way that might be, well, have different advantages, okay? Now, here's what I'd like you to do um, where you've drawn all your circles. I'd like you to label the fact that every single one of these, I want them to be a unit circle. It doesn't matter if they're all different sizes, let's just call them a unit circle. If they are a, yeah? Sorry, should we be using pencils or pens? It doesn't matter, it's okay, it's fine. Um, unless you're really messy, in which case you should definitely use pencil, but that's fine. If all of these are unit circles, right? The unit refers to like one unit. What does that mean on, the, on this particular circle? What is one unit on here? The, the radius. The radius, thank you very much. On a unit circle, the radius is one unit, right? Now, I want you to think about this carefully with me. <clears throat> if the unit circle has a radius of one unit, what is its circumference? What is the circumference of the unit circle? Think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. Okay, now I think I heard it. I think I heard an approximation. Do you want to give me the approximation? It's about 6.2 something. 6.28, blah, 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 blah. Where did we get that 6.28 number from? It's, uh, it's pi times the diameter. Now the diameter is two, because the radius is one. So if you went two times pi, two pi, that would give you 6.28. Now that's an approximation. I'd really actually like to write this exactly. Okay, so if this is the unit circle, then you're going to have two pi, whoops, that's a bad u. Two pi units will be the circumference, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this angle according to how far I've gone around the circumference, according to that angle. So see how I've gone 2 pi units? I'm just going to call this angle 2 pi radians. And I'm not going to keep on writing radians because it's a, it's a long word. I'm just going to say rad because radians are rad. Now that idea that the size of the angle is related to how far along the circumference I go. You can see what I'm trying to say is, I want a new way of measuring angles that deals better with circles. That's why I've asked you to draw so many, draw so many circles, and I'm about to draw another couple underneath, okay? So, on this next circle, what I'd like you to draw is not 360 degrees. Can you draw for me an angle that is half a revolution? Can you go ahead and draw that in? You can do it on both. So here's our half revolution. It's a straight angle, which of course makes it, based on the fact that our revolution is 360 degrees, this angle is going to be, we know this, we know this back to, thank you, so you're still awake, unlike everyone else at the moment seemingly. 180 degrees, fantastic. Now I can say this same angle in radians, I know you could probably calculate it on the basis of this pattern, but again I want you to think. I'm going to name the size of this angle based on how far does this angle take me around the circumference. Now this is still a unit circle. How far is half of the circumference? Have a look at the top. It's, it's just, yeah, it's just half of that, right? Because it's the whole circumference. So it's going to be, hold on, think about it. Half of this, remember there's a pi hanging around there, right? So it'll be one pi. So I'm going to write that as pi units. Okay, so if I've gone pi units around the circle, then I'm going to call this angle pi radians. Okay, now, this, you're sort of starting to see where I'm going. What I'd like you to do on the uh, third pair of circles is, can you do me a right angle? Do it for degrees do it for radians. And then the last one, this one is going to take some thought. So just pause for a second, like keep your pen in your hand but look up because I want you, you to understand what I'm asking you. In the last pair of circles, 
We've done two pi radians, we've done pi radians. You're about to do, I'm not gonna tell you how many radians, but a right angle. On the last pair of circles, I want you to try and work out what would one radian look like? This is a whole new unit. So this is sort of the point of me going through this process, right? How big would one radian, if that's two pi radians, how big would one look like? So have a go through, do your right angle on your next set of circles and see if you can work out how would I do one radian on the last one. I'll give you some time to work on that while I make some new circles and draw up uh, that, but I don't want to spoil it for you. All right, so you're starting to go to that point, you're thinking, you're like, hmm, some of you have some good guesses. Um, some of you are on the right track. This is actually a really important moment where you're at that point of, I'm still feeling a little lost. What's the piece that can fit this together, right? So let's do the right angle first because I think most people are comfortable with this. In degrees land, we would call, of course, a right angle 90 degrees, great. But over here, when we think about this, the question you should be asking in your head is, how far around the circumference? have I gone for a right angle? And the answer is, well, I've gone a quarter of the way around. I haven't gone the full way, I haven't gone halfway, I've just gone a quarter of the way. So it'll be a quarter of this, or half of this. So instead of writing two pi or pi, I'm gonna write, how far around the circumference? Pi over two, that's how many units I have gone around the circumference using this angle. And so therefore, I name that angle based on that distance pi on two radians, okay? If you've ever picked up someone else's uh, math textbook or you've flicked through in, too far into Cambridge, you're like, wow, where, where are all these pi's going on? And pi on two is an angle that comes up a whole lot because it's 90 degrees, an angle you use a heck of a lot. All right, now then the last one, this mystery one, right? We're trying to get to, well, we know what a degree is. We know what 90 of them look like. Um, what, does, what does a radian look like? You've got some information on here that can help you out, right? For example, every time you have a look at one of these conversions, for instance, if I told you um, that a foot equals, let's actually use a proper uh, uh, abbreviation here. If I said a foot equals 12 inches, you could use that to work out what one inch was in feet. You could use this to work out what a single inch is in feet. If I wanted not 12 inches, but one inch, what would I do to both sides? Think carefully. Divide by 12. Yeah, to go, to go from here to here, I divided by 12. So did that to the right hand side. I should do that to the left as well. That would give me 1 12th. Sorry, that should say 1 of a foot, right? Now think about that. You actually got three opportunities to do this. You should get the same answer out for all of them. For reasons that will become clear in a second, I think you'll find this one, this second one here, the easiest one. Let's have a look at it, right? If you've got 180 degrees being the same as pi radians. That's actually worth writing down. 180 degrees equals pi radians. If I didn't want pi radians, that's about three and a bit. I just want one of them. Just like here, what should I do to both sides? Divide by pi. I should divide by pi. That'll give me one radian. Okay, now pi is a bit of a gross number, but your calculator is quite good at gross numbers. So get your calculator out. And would you please punch in, when you divide both sides by pi, over here I'm gonna get 180 yeah. over pi. Now, it should give you a nice decimal expansion. I'm expecting it's about 57.29 yeah. degrees, dot, 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 right? So that's, that's pretty close. Now, what does 57.29 look like? If you want to eyeball it, it's close enough to 60. I mean, our eyes on a circle of this size, right? You probably can't tell three degrees all that much. So if you eyeball 60, you're gonna get pretty close to it. But importantly, you're not gonna get exactly it. Circles have this weirdness built into them that pi is a very strange and unusual number. So radians are going to be a bit strange and unusual as well because they're so closely linked to circles. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, if I eyeball 60, I think it's going to be about, well, it's about two-thirds of the way up to a right angle, right? So I'm going to go there. No, that should have been higher. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe more like, no, that's too high. <laughs> a trained professional would have brought a protractor with them, but I don't have one. For the, I'm going to be satisfied with that. Split the difference. So this is about, I'm going to call it, about 57.29 degrees. But if I wanted to write it precisely... This angle is pi, sorry, 180 degrees divided by pi. 
180 on pi. And if you want, you can say that's approximately 57.29 degrees. Okay. Now coming over here, I'm going to draw the same angle, roughly. And uh, what did I say that was in radians? What was the angle we were trying to work out? One Just exactly one radian, right? Thank you very much. Oh, wrong color. One radian. Now, all the way through, first, second, third pair of diagrams, and now this last pair, the whole point of a radian is to think about how far you've gone around the circumference, right? So you have this arc over here. If the angle is one radian, how far around the edge of the circle will you have gone? Um, a rad. Uh, think about this, right? The, the, the rad, the radian, right, is our measure of like how far have you sort of like, like turned your angle, right? But this thing here is just a length, right? The units I've been using are, well, I've been using units because I don't know if they're centimeters or inches or whatever. So it's just one of those. That's how far I've gone around, right? Now remember, we started off by saying all the way, the entire circumference is about 6.3. Does this not look about one-sixth of that? That's why it's exactly one unit.